You listened to the story of the interoperability issues with regard to the use of universally unique identifiers, or short UUID, in the exchange of aeronautical data in AIXM format. This story is kindly provided by Solitech Software Solutions. Once upon a time, there was an aeronautical information service officer in a country far away. Due to the digital transition from paper-based services to aeronautical information management, he has to exchange aeronautical information in electronic format. One of the key concepts for enabling this is the use of UUIDs for feature identification in the Aeronautical Information Exchange model, the AIXM. Our AIS officer quickly checks on Wikipedia the definition of the term UUID. A universally unique identifier is a standard used in software construction. A UUID is simply a 128-bit value. Here is one example. The intent of UUIDs is to enable distributed systems to uniquely identify information without significant central coordination. The AIS officer wants to confirm this information with his IT guy. He will know what to do. But the IT guy tells our AIS officer that the exchange of the data in AIXM format is causing an issue without central coordination. Why? Because the UUID does not identify a feature. It identifies the data that a system stores about a feature. So, two or more datasets may exist for the same AIXM feature with different UUIDs. So there is the need to identify and merge duplicate feature data based on actual properties of the feature, not on the UUID. But the identification of a feature based on actual properties can be quite challenging as well. Because in AIXM 5.1, all feature attributes are optional. Our AIS officer is quite confused. He starts thinking about the impacts on his business. Let's assume we have a flight between Madrid in Europe and Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. Who are the main stakeholders with regard to the exchange of aeronautical information in such a case? Eurocontrol, on behalf of its member states, provides a central database for aeronautical data. This service is operated by Group EAD from their two centers in Frankfurt and Madrid. The General Civil Aviation Authority of the United Arab Emirates, the GCAA, is operating a repository of aeronautical data of the UAE region from their center in Abu Dhabi. The two systems have to exchange aeronautical information, but in fact, they have been implemented by different system vendors and the aeronautical features were loaded without central coordination. The situation is even worse when looking into the more regional aspects. DANS is the air navigation service provider within the Emirate of Dubai. They are currently establishing a database for aeronautical data to produce AIP, charts, and to exchange their data with the GCAA, United Arab Emirates Repository. The flight procedures for approaches to and departures from Dubai International Airport are originated by a procedure designer of DANS. Same system supplier within this region? Of course not. Central coordination for loading the data? Not yet. So we are facing a situation today where data about Dubai International Airport is already available in four different systems, provided by four different vendors loaded by three different authorities and having at least three, probably four, different UUIDs. Now, let's assume there is an expansion project of Dubai International Airport. A new runway is constructed and should be put into operation quite soon. So, the new runway data has to be distributed to all stakeholders in AIXM format. The format requires references to features being made by UUIDs, so we have to know the UUID of the airport in order to tell other systems in a unique way that we have new runway data for it. The UUIDs are by definition unique, but the identification of our destination airport is not. Kind of a Gordian knot for our AIS officer, as well as for his IT guy. 